Hey gang, it's been a while since I last posted a tutorial. Before proceeding with this video, watch my previous manga animation. I'll be covering a single panel from that video here. Let's start the tutorial. Welcome back to another cool manga animation tutorial. But instead of animation, replace it with scene building. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to build a manga scene like this. Before I start the video, you guys know what to do. Like and subscribe to my channel. Trust me, finding a tutorial channel for manga animation is quite rare. And since we are nearing 2k subscribers, I have a special bundle which I'll be giving away for free in the end of this video. So make sure to watch it till the end. Without wasting much time, let's jump straight into the video. Start off by creating a new composition and name it whatever you want. As usual, keep the ratio 16 to 9 for standard landscape video. Choose frame rate 60 and hit OK. This is not an animation tutorial so frame rate doesn't even matter to me. Now import your footages. I've imported the extended Abito panel, a cityscape background, a fog and rain green screen. So how did I turn this panel to this? I've told about this in my previous videos. We will use the power of AI. Head over to firefly.adobe.com. It's free. Scroll down to Generative Fill and upload your original manga panel. Now in the left panel, select Expand. Here, choose Widescreen and hit Generate. You'll now have this extended manga panel. Import it to After Effects. Analyze this panel. There are four major parts. Number one is the wall. Number two is the city in the back. Number three is Abito himself. Number four is the floor ground, which means you need four different layers. Duplicate the layer by hitting Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Now take pin tool and mask each layer. I'm speeding up this part. Paint off these text bubbles using the paint tool. Note that you should double click the layer to be able to paint. It's time to erase Abito's legs from the ground layer. We can't use paint tool because this texture doesn't include a pure solid color. We'll have to use the clone stamp tool. I've explained about this tool in my previous tutorial which is available on my channel. If you already know how it works. Cool. Let's proceed. Basically you'd have to clone a region and paint off the unnecessary elements. Hold Alt and left click to clone a region. Now that all the layers are masked. We can bring the city into the timeline. Drag it below all layers. Because it's far away compared to other layers. Having the panels black and white and the city colored looks kind of odd. So hover over to effects panel and search for black and white. Drag it into the background layer. Finally, drag the fog layer into the timeline. Place it right on top of the background layer. Now to remove the green screen, hover over to effects bar and search for key light. Add it to the fog layer. Use the color picker and pick the screen color. Now scale it according to your preference. Similarly, drag your rain green screen into the timeline. Add key light and adjust its positioning. We've successfully built a cool scene. The last step is composition. I'm not going to cover composition in this video. Watch my composition tutorial if you want to turn this panel to this. And further, if you want to turn this panel to this panel to this panel. Watch my parallax effect tutorial which is also available on my channel. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Hold up, I was talking about a free bundle giveaway on the start of the video, right? So for this Abito panel, we had a well-structured drawing, which is why we were able to mask and build our scene. But what if the panels are like this? How to build a scene for this? Well, this is the main reason why I've created a bundle. 
I've collected multiple manga backgrounds and elements, and I've created a Pinterest board for it. Link is in the description of this video. And furthermore, I've upscaled each of these manga elements to 4K which is available on my Gumroad for free which is also linked in the description. I'll regularly update the Pinterest board in the Gumroad file. Hopefully this will be useful for everyone who's watching this. Thank you so much for your support till now. If you had any trouble while following this tutorial, feel free to comment down the timestamp and I'll be happy to help. If you want to learn more about manga animations, check out my beginner playlist where I've covered everything from scratch to pro-level manga animation. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Roni, signing off.